All right, so we're in the town of Zunio, which is south of Quetzaltenango, and we're here to visit a deity um, that <laughs> drinks hard alcohol and smokes cigarettes, believe it or not. And um, if you want to come visit him yourself, uh, it's kind of a good idea to bring an offering. So in this case, we brought the local fire water, uh, Venado. And uh, I guess that way we can keep it for ourselves in case, um, in case we don't find this deity. And he's known as San Simon here in the town of Zunil. So we're going to give you much more information on this deity and uh, we're going to walk around town and uh, look for the Casa de San Simon. Who is San Simon anyway? He's believed to be an amalgamation of Pedro de Alvarado, who was the first Spanish conquistador in what is now Guatemala, uh, an assortment of Mayan gods, and Judas Iscariot from the Bible. And of course, people pray to San Simon for all sorts of things. So when you go to visit San Simon, you can't help but be struck by the glow and the warmth of all the candles that people have left as offerings for him. Now there's nothing random about the colours of the candles um, that people have left. On the contrary, there's actually great significance to the colours that people have selected as offerings. Now what follows are the candle colours and their symbolism. So royal blue is associated with work, possibly ensuring work. Celeste, which is like a light blue, is for a buen viaje, bon voyage safe travels. White is for health or the protection of a child. Yellow is for a bountiful harvest. Green is for money. Red is for love. Purple is for to help with addictions. And black is for revenge on one's enemies. Sadly, on the day of our visit, our gift-giving etiquette just wasn't on point, and we brought the wrong hard liquor. We brought Minato, we should have brought good old-fashioned Quetzalteca. In the end, San Simone accepted our offer anyway. There are a number of legends surrounding who exactly San Simone was, and each of these vary quite differently. And because of that, today San Simone is thought to represent both good, evil, trickery. He's thought to be a womanizer and a protector, and obviously he's somebody that likes hard liquor and cigarettes. We don't know what happens to the hooch that San Simone drinks, but the cigarette ashes are sold, and from what we understand, 
These are sold for protection against amnesia and insomnia. Throughout Guatemala, he's also known as Mashimon, and um, I think largely the Mayan call him Rila Mom. So. It's the last time we were here in Sunil um, to visit San Simon was back in October 2013. Um, we were actually here for his feast day, which is October 28th. And that was really, really interesting. Um, if you ever get a chance to experience that, it's definitely worth coming to. Um, so it's, it's a big community event. There's loads of food. People are incredibly kind, incredibly welcoming. They'll, they'll share food with you. And then afterwards, there's a, it's kind of like a dance hall and people dance and drink and they throw um, San Simone over their shoulders and they dance with him and um, different people dance with them and it's, it's just a really, really interesting experience. Um, so yeah, if you ever get the chance, definitely come and visit for the, the, the feast day. The first time we were ever here was back in 2009, so that was our very first visit to San Simone. Um, and it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating experience. Um, to say the very least. Different, yeah. To say the least, and we're happy to be back here sharing this with you again. So, and you are made to feel very, very welcome. Um, you do have to pay to take photographs. You do have to pay for for videos, um, and that's fine. It's it's not this like bizarre request that you're you're um, asking them. And it is customary to bring like a little gift. Yeah. To yeah, a pack of cigarettes. Uh, a little bottle of uh, whiskey or something like Get that. Fire water uh, or something, you know? Yeah, uh, so uh, that's just, uh, um, that's customary to do, so it's a good thing to do. And they sell beer there. If you want to buy a beer and if you want to sit and have a drink with San Simone, that's also perfectly acceptable. Um, like yeah. I say, it's, it's a very different experience, but uh, it's, you are more than welcome there. So uh, we hope we showed you um, a little bit of a, uh, a different side to Guatemala than you may have seen in other videos. Um, we're up in the Western Highlands now. This is our favorite part of Guatemala. And I said we're happy to share these videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, share it with someone who you think might like it as well. And uh, if you haven't already, um, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. And hit the bell for notifications. So, part of the unexpected highlight of that visit for me was I got to the Dragon Cigarette. <laughs> now that's something I haven't had since we stopped smoking. We don't say we quit, that's just been way too committed. <laughs> we stopped back in January of 2012. Um, so, so that was kind of unexpected, you know, we, we wanted to have him like burn the cigarette, smoke the cigarette. But in order to do that, I had to light it first. So that was a lovely, unexpected surprise for me. Did you inhale? Bloody damn light I did. Um, and you know what? Oh, it was man. just as so fabulously delicious and lovely as I remember. It was, it was fine. <laughs> it was very fine. It was, it was a nice treat. Ah, oh, so, I'm jealous. Uh, yeah. Hey, you, the camera. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna have to go back. I can get a drag myself. That's all there is to it.
All right, so that's it from Zunil and um, uh, the Casa de San Simone. All right, thanks a lot. That's it.